Hi, folks. This is Elgin, Subway Surfer Bowling. Your creative caricature marketing consultant. And, uh, man, I don't know hmm, where this video broadcast is going to end up today. So uh, I guess I'll just start talking and uh, maybe a title or theme will present itself. But it's based on... Uh, something that happened during the weekend. Uh, I got a call from my son. Uh, he's a grown man. He's in his 20s. Yeah, I know. I get it. The whole looking young thing. Anyway, he's away at grad school um, studying. And um, out of nowhere, you know, he just says to me, you know, Dad, I, 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 I started to pick up painting, you know, just so I could have something relaxing to do something to just to give my mind something to take away from my work and while I knew my son has dabbled you know in painting in high school I never really thought that he would kind of return to it and uh, since I'm a professional artist I kind of hoped that my son would do some type of artwork, and I saw that uh, he had talent very early, but he never really pursued it uh, in a way that uh, I would have wanted. And I mean, in the sense of him following in my footsteps, that kind of thing. It wasn't going to happen, and I wasn't going to push him into that. But you know, you you you, you kind of have that hope. But I'm I'm kind of uh, getting off topic, so. Um, he shared with me two works that he was doing. One picture that, uh, you know, he had done that involved the house. I won't give away what his inspiration was. It's much more than a house. And another that he had done for his fiance that he was going to present to her for Valentine's Day. And when I look at any work of art, I look at it objectively. And I could objectively say that the work was, it, it was startling. Startling in the sense that it's not representational artwork. It has more of a surreal feeling. But I, I got a sense when I looked at it that it truly, truly came from the heart. You know, from a very, very sensitive, very emotional place that you could feel in the artwork and that if you looked at it it would, it would cause you to become very introspective very reflective and I, I, I spent you know a couple of minutes looking at the piece and I gave he asked my opinion on it and I gave him uh, my analysis as a professional artist and it really got me the thinking, it, it, it touched me, you know, not just because it was my son and he had done something that I was pleased with, but it, it, it kind of taught me something about art in general. Uh, it's very easy when you get to, quote-unquote, my level, where you're a professional artist that people pay you to do it for a living. And um, sometimes... You can do that so much that your artwork loses a certain kind of, uh, what's the word, soul, if I can even use that word. Not that it's not good, not that it doesn't have a certain kind of life, but you know, it can lose that kind of intangible quality that you, that you find in work of a a person like my son who's just doing it for its own sake or doing it to present it as a gift of love to somebody and i when i when i looked at the work i said god i want to i want to draw like that <laughs> i want to do work like that man how do i get to that uh, he's coming up in a couple of days and um, we'll get an opportunity you know to talk and to paint and he can actually show me something, uh, and I'm anxious to learn it, but uh, I would encourage 
you artists out there, you know, whether you are, uh, especially if you're uh, a professional in any capacity, no matter what it is, to find a way to get back to putting that type of innocence into your work, or even if you have to create a space where you're doing art for its own sake, not for uh, the sake of selling it to anybody, you know, or doing a job like caricaturing or comics or anything like that, but doing it for pure love, uh, maybe working out emotional problems or issues on paper, perhaps just doing it as presenting a gift to somebody, anything, any way that you can get into that place where it becomes a pure kind of thing, where you can kind of get that level of emotion into the work, that intangible level of emotion that I'm talking about. I, I so wish that I could, um, wiping away tears, I so wish that I could uh, show you what he did, but I really can't uh, since it's uh, his work, but uh, maybe you'll just get an idea what I mean, so... Uh, that's all I want to talk about you know, for uh, this segment. Uh, maybe you got something out of it, maybe you didn't. I hope, that, as always, that it inspired you to uh, either do something or think about art in a uh, different type of way. And I'll come back to you sometime with some other stuff. This is Elgin Subway Surfer Bowling, your creative caricature marketing consultant.